Hi guys and welcome back. Today I wanted to bring you my March TBR and I know we're already a bit into the month. It is the, what is today, the 11th? Yes, the 11th. So I know we're already a bit in but I wanted to tell you what I am reading currently, what I plan on reading and a few books that I've already finished in the beginning of the month. Let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you everything I have. The first thing I want to talk about are the books that I finished in February um, or the end of February that that fell into like March 1st, March 2nd territory. So I technically finished them in March, but they were February reads. Those were uh, Delirium by Lauren Oliver. That's from the Delirium trilogy. I read the uh, first book. Um, that is actually a reread for me, but I needed to get ready for a couple readathons I'm going to tell you about in a minute. So I had to reread the first book of that. I also finished Peach Cobbler Murder. That is the uh, Hannah Swenson series by Joanne Fluke. And I think that is the seventh or eighth book in the series, I want to say. Um, I have read up to what she is currently publishing now from book like 15 through whatever she's on now. I think it's 21 or something. I've read all those. So I wanted to go back to the beginning and read like one through 15 to see where everything started. Uh, they don't have to be read in order, but it, I just like it for my slight OCD I have. And yes, I, I do have slight OCD, so it makes me feel better to read them that way. So uh, that is the seventh or eighth book in that series. And, um, oh, a book that is actually a follow through um, or a hanger on from February uh, that I need to finish in March is Terry Pratchett's The Color of Magic. This was the book club pick for the Beauty and the Books um, book club that we have on Goodreads. This was the pick for February and I didn't get to finish it. It actually, it took me a little time to get into. It's a sci-fi fantasy kind of high fantasy series that I wasn't really prepared for, but once I got into it, I'm really enjoying it now. So I am still reading this and trying to finish this off this month. And uh, let's see, for that same book club for the March pick, we have actually chosen, um, everybody voted, and we got to read Baby Teeth by Zoe Sage. So we are reading this. I think that Amanda over at Amanda D has already finished it, but I need to read this. I'm not too far in. I'm about 55 pages in, and let me tell you, this is good. This is a psychological thriller that is really disturbing. Let's just say disturbing and leave it at that. If you get a chance to read this, please come by and talk about it in our group. Say how you liked it or just say hi and tell us that you're there. Also, we do our live show on Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is pretty much every Friday. We, we will skip some if we're not feeling well or something should happen. You know, life happens. But we will do the Beauty in the Books YouTube show, the live YouTube show, and that is on Fridays. So if you ever want to join us there, please just jump over. We talk about everything and don't feel, don't feel like you need to have read the book to talk with us or anything like that. Just jump in and say hi to everybody. The book that I read in March um, that I've already finished and read the first few days of March was The Past and Other Things That Should Stay Buried by Mark David Hutchinson. That is so good. I think I gave it four or 4.5 stars and I know it wasn't lower than that. And I just want to say if you like the trope of zombies or the undead, however you want to put it, people rising from the dead, which that's not a spoiler, I promise that happens in the description or in the synopsis. Um, but people rising from the dead and you enjoy Sean David Hutchinson's other books, his humor, uh, his his sarcasm, that kind of thing. I highly recommend picking this one up. The past and other things that should stay buried was so funny. Um, very good. I'm actually thinking about purchasing it for myself. I got it from the library, but I'm thinking about buying it and just keeping it on my shelves for a reread. It was really good. Let's see. Um Another book for a book club that I need to read this month is The Tattooist of Auschwitz. That's by Heather Morris. That is for um, a Literary Alliance book club that I am currently in. And we need to read that book for March. I have it on hold at the library. I'm hoping it comes in this month. I cannot guarantee it because I am 37 in line, which is great because I was at like 108 in line. So hopefully I'll get that this month and be able to read it. But the reason I'm thinking that I may not have too much time for it is because 
I am in the middle of Rereadathon right now. That started on the 10th and goes through the 16th. And Rereadathon just has about seven prompts where you just reread books that you have read in the past, whether it's children's, middle grade, adult. Um, they have the different prompts. I'm only doing three of them, however. Uh, three of them were really all that interested in me and that I needed to read for another readathon I'll talk about in a second. But this readathon, um, I've got three books scheduled. So let me just go ahead and show you what those are. I'm currently reading um, Scythe by Neil Schusterman. Um, this one I read before last February, I believe, and I gave it five stars and it's so great. I don't see that rating changing at all. I'm not too far in, you can tell, but I am still enjoying it. And since I kind of know what happens, but forgot some, hmm, forgot some, I really am enjoying this and getting to know this book again. The other thing that I'm currently reading or listening to on audio right now is Pandemonium. That is the second book in the Lauren Oliver Delirium series. So I'm listening to that one right now. And the third book I have for Rereadathon is Spindlefire. This is by Lexa Hillier. This is a uh, book that came out about two years ago. I want to say it came out in 2016 or seven, 17, I'm pretty sure it's 2017. And uh, this is basically a Sleeping Beauty retelling. This is um, about Aurora and her, um, her half-sister. And this just is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty that is really good. It's very interesting. I can't remember how many stars I gave this last time. I want to say four, but um, I just started it again. So I'll get through that this week before the 16th and let you know how that is. And then um, the next readathon I have doesn't start until the 21st. That is the sequelathon, and that goes through the 31st. I am actually doing that with Amanda D here on YouTube. You guys all know and love her, I'm sure. Um, we decided to do this together because it only has three prompts, and it looked like something that was a lot of fun. I'm currently in a lot of series right now. I don't want to say how many, <laughs> but I'm reading a lot of series that basically I need to either finish because they're series that have been finished, been completed, and I need to just finish out the series or there's series that are currently still being written and I just need to read up to what is released right now. So I am, I'm going to say I'm in the middle of about 25 to 30 book series that either they're duologies or trilogies or more than that, or like the Joanne Fluke series, which just goes to 21 and beyond um, books. But I am working on reading those series. So Sequelathon works out perfect for helping me along in some of those series. So for Sequelathon, I also have, I have the three books for the prompts. I have, first of all, Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. This is the Scythe sequel, and I'm really looking forward to this. It is, it's a chunker, but <laughs> I heard great things about it, and I expect this to be five stars too. So I predict this is going to be another five-star book, but I'll let you know after I finish it. The next thing I have is the Winter Glass book. This is the last book in the duology of the uh, Spindle Fire book that I just showed you by Lexa Hillier. This just continues on with the Sleeping Beauty retelling and what happens after the second book and then wraps everything up hopefully nicely in the end, but we shall see. And finally, the third book I have for Rereadathon is the um, third book in the Delirium series by Lauren Oliver. That is Requiem. That is going to be one I probably listen to. Um, we have 10 days. I may read it, but I'm hoping to listen to it on audio just to help speed me along in that readathon. Uh, audiobooks do that for me. They just, since I can listen to them while I'm doing other things, I get a lot more out of them, I guess, than just if I had to sit down and read. I've got to take that extra time to sit and concentrate solely on the book, which isn't a bad thing. But sometimes I just like to have an audiobook in the background if I'm driving putting on my makeup, um, doing stuff around the house. I just love to have the audiobook option. Let's see. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is um, I have two ARCs. Well, one ARC and one kind of re-release that I found on NetGalley. The first thing I have is the ARC that is Two Little Girls by Frances Vick. That is a psychological thriller. I'm about 80% of the way through that, and I'll let you know how it is when it's done, but it is good. It keeps you guessing. And that's what I really like in psychological thrillers. I want to, I don't want to know what the ending is going into it. I want to be shocked and surprised and I want to keep guessing. So that is one that is doing that for me. 
The next thing I have is The Painted Face. That is by Jean Stubbs. And this is actually the re-release I found on NetGalley. Came out February of this year, but the first print ever of the book was in 1975. I believe. So I am reading that basically is a mystery detective series about a uh, detective who is investigating the death of a painter's sister that happened about 20 years earlier. And it um, is a Victorian novel. I'm really enjoying that. I love Victorian novels. So you really can't go wrong with that for me. So um, I'll let you know how that is when I finish it as well. And I'll have a review for that on NetGalley and on Goodreads. And I'm also hoping to get to a Joyce Carol Oates book that I do not want to say the name of on the channel because this is like a family friendly channel, but it is a book that is a little uh, controversial in the topics it handles. It's a short story. So I'm hoping to get to that. I have that out from the library right now. And I'm trying to get to that during the week between when uh, Rereadathon ends and before Sequelathon begins. I'll have that whole week in the middle to devote to books. And there are some books that I'd like to get through during that time, including the uh, Chocolate Cream Pie Murder, which is the Joanne Fluke book, um, the Hannah Swenson series, number 21, I think, or 22. She's written so many now, you guys, I've lost count, but I love these for just easy, cozy, fast reads. And I will be getting that from the library as well. Um, if I can't find it on audio, I will hopefully be getting that from the library. And I would also like to try to fit in um, two more books during that week where I kind of have some free time, shall we say, but I either want to get to The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides, Michaelides, not sure how you say that, but this book, I've heard great things about this. This is another psychological thriller that is supposedly amazing. And I've already heard is actually being adapted into a film or is in plans to be adapted to a film. So that'll be interesting. I want to read this and get that um, read so I know what I can look forward to. And I either want to read this or if I can't get to that, I want to read No Exit by Taylor Adams, another psychological thriller from Book of the Month Club that I chose. Uh, this was the December or January pick. And I got this in um, and heard great things about it. Everyone who has read this has said amazing things. I have not heard one bad review. So I'm looking forward to getting to this one or this one in that week that I have off. And if I have any extra time, um, which probably won't happen, but if I do, I'd also like to throw in Before She Knew Him by Peter Swanson. This is his latest release. He also does psychological thrillers. Can you tell I have a type? <laughs> And um, I really, really want to get to this. It was just released, Mar released March 5th. <laughs> and um, I just, I love his books. I love how he keeps you guessing. And I love the twists and turns that he takes in all of his books. So I'm hoping this won't be any different than the others. And I'll get a really good reading experience out of this guy. And I think that's everything. That is everything for March that I have either previously read, currently reading, or plan on reading. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know down below. If you would like me to do a March wrap-up or a, even a February wrap-up, I still have that to film, have not done that yet. If you still want to see that, please let me know, and I will go ahead and film that. Other than that, um, I hope you guys have a good night and have enjoyed watching, and thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.